Let's start the course with the installation of our local environment. So let's install XAMPP, our local host. Type in XAMPP in Google. Then the first link. Select English. Download. And now let's install it. Yes, okay, next. Uh, we just need MySQL and PHP my admin. So let's select it. Next, next, and let's install it. Okay, now the installation is done and we can click on finish. And let's start a patch in MySQL and create a database and install WordPress. So let's go and type in localhost, then phpMyAdmin. Then click on database, select UTF-16 bin and let's call our database Redux. Create. Okay, done. Now we need to install WordPress. WordPress English. Let's download the latest version of WordPress. Drag it on the desktop and Let's open our XAMPP folder. Z XAMPP HDDocs and put our WordPress here. Let's rename it. Let's call it Redux. So, kind of this and just drag it in this folder. Let's start the installation. Okay, let's go and Type in localhost Redux, how you named the folder. So let's select English, continue. Let's go database name. We call it Redux. Username root. Password, no password, and submit. Run the installation. Title name, let's call it just Redux. Username, admin. Password, I will take 12345. Yes, confirm. Email, just type in one. And install WordPress. Login. Type in admin and our password. Log in. Perfect. That's it. That was the installation. Let's continue. Okay, let's download our theme. So go to appearance, themes and add new. And now let's type in edk lms and the first one let's install it 
All right, now let's activate it and also download all these plugins. So begin installing plugins. Let's start with the one click demo import. Return to required plugin. Then learn press. Return. And here learn press course review. It's an add on. Okay, so it's not that big. And now Elementor. Okay, now let's activate them all. Let's activate the one click demo import, learn press, learn press course and Elementor. And now Elementor. Okay, now we have to install the demo data. So go to appearance, import demo data. And yeah, click here, scroll down and import demo data. It will take a while, about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. After the import of the demo data, we can run the setup. So run setup wizard. Here the setup of the learn press, run setup. Currency dollar, let's currency position right. Okay, continue. Here, now we have courses. And let's our oh, courses so it should be our courses page profile. Profile checkout checkout become a teacher become a teacher. All right, continue. Paypal, here we can type in enable and our email, Paypal email, where, where we will receive our payments. We can also activate the sandbox mode, but I w don't want to test it. I know how it's working, so let's continue. Um, yeah continue and let's also install sample course all right and now we can go back to the dashboard now let's create a menu so let's go to here appearance menus And let's create a menu. So we have our home about us, um, shop, let's remove it, blog, contact us. And let's also put in here some more. So home, maybe, let's have a look, register, add to menu. And I don't know, we can also put in become a teacher or yeah, my account. Let's put in my account and also put them here. Here, my oh, here, let's Make it like this, home, about, my account, register, block and contact us. And now display location, let's choose display location primary and footer. And let's call the menu primary menu here. And let's save this. Okay, let's go on. Before working with the 
customizer, I would like to go to um, user no, settings and reading and choose our home and post page or blog page. So let's select here our home for home page and post page. This is our blog page. Now let's save changes and go to our site. So let's visit our site. And this is how it looks right now. I would like to change a little bit. So click here on customize. And I will explain you how to customize um, the Hera and Fura, for example. So first of all, here we have site identity. Here you have to put in your logo. As you can see, uh, the dimensions should be 150 by 40 pixels. So this size should be your logo. Then site title, educate, um, I don't know, let's put educator in and um, the best courses. So let's leave it like this. Then we have colors, um, primary color, uh, this as you can see, let's have a look on green, how it will look like, and as you can see here, a lot of green, so let's make it default, I like the default color, and of course header text color, we could also change it, but um, let's leave it like this, header image, now what is the header image, and it's very simple to explain. Let's click here on block and as you can see block and here is our header image. Of course we could just change the header image and for example select this one but um, it should be the size of 1000 to 250 pixels so you can just add a new image, click on upload files and upload your files. But don't forget the size, the dimensions should be 1000 by 250 pixels. Okay, let's go on. Here are our menus. Of course, you can create one menu for the header and another one for the footer. Here is our footer but i will leave it like this i think it's okay here we have widgets this is also very interesting because here our custom html and as you can see for people who don't know how to uh, use html here you can just forget all this stuff just change here your phone number for example i take the two way here and of course if you don't want to have that you can just delete it so then the right side uh, top right there is nothing let's have a look if we put in i don't know search how it will look like Yeah, but I think we should leave it empty, <laughs> so delete. Okay, then we have of course our footer, footer 1, here you can just put in your logo again like this, just 
click on add media and then select again your logo and of course you can also remove it and add here the text then Fura 2 is also a little bit cold as you can see just add this text for example just put in some text and it will change here and if you don't want to have for example fax i don't have a fax so here you can just take this diff here it starts here let's just remove it so as you can see And we can also remove here contact text. Let's have a look here the whole from contact to this div. So let's have a look. We remove it. Yeah, now it's and if you would like to remove, for example, this one, you could also just, um, where is the, here, as you can see, the A, then contact value, the E, here, from here to here. You could just, no, from here, from the contact info item to here. Just remove it and you won't see it. And for example, I don't wanna have also this one. Um, what I will do, I just choose here, contact info item. And then I go down here and remove it. Yes, here, and now let's have a look. As you can see, okay, let's leave it like this, and now we can publish it. Of course, if you want to add um, or change the email, just change it right here. And yeah, the phone number you can change here. So I think this is not a big deal. Okay, let's move on. Footer 3. Links, um, let's call it menu. And here you can select your menu. We have two menus. We have the main menu and primary menu. Let's leave it with the primary menu. And footer 4. Open hours. Um, Let's remove it. Of course, it's um, yeah the same stuff. If you want to leave it like this, you can just add here the HTML. But I don't want to have open hours because I create an online course. And yeah, so I will remove it and then add a new widget. And for example, here we can put in um recent courses so let's put in recent courses um okay limit let's limit it on one Um, and now let's have a look. Show teacher. Let's deactivate it. Limit description length. Um, let's make it a little bit shorter. Let's five. And also here 
do this. Deselect this one. And instead of go to courses, let's put in um, visit course here. Now let's have a look. Of course, there is no image of the course. So we will change it later, but I think it's not a big deal because we will create our own course and we will use an image. So here we will have an image. I would always recommend uh, using images because it's it looks a little bit weird. So yeah. But now it's looking pre pretty decent, so we can publish it. And now we work with the footer. And here we have also some homepage settings. Here we could also choose our home and blog page. And then layout. This is also very interesting because here on layouts, we have our container, um, let's leave it, header, and this is, because here we can say full contained, and also here full contained, a little bit, and here for the footer, I will leave it contained, but you could also choose full, it's up to you, I will use contained. And also theme options, sidebar, but um, header options, like um, about this I will talk later with the logout, login and so on. So this is what we will change uh, later. Here the follow us, this is our follow us, here you have to put in your Facebook. Okay, this is not my profile. I don't want to put in my profile, but this is how it should work. Here you put in your profile in. And of course, you can also hide footer connect and you, and you can hide this one just by clicking here, as you can see. Single posts, um, yeah. It's also not necessary right now. Um, I will work with this later when we work with our blog page. And yeah, this is also for the blog page. But right now, yeah, we are ready and we can move on. So don't forget to publish and yeah. Okay, now let's go back and create our own lesson. So. Here. Now click on dashboard. And as you can see, here is the learn press icon and we can click on courses. And here we can click on add new. Add new course, let's call it HTML, whatever. Here. Now, here you have to put in your video. So, and let's have a look. I will choose a YouTube video. So, I just took a random YouTube video and of course you have to um, create your own videos and publish them. So you have to just go to YouTube, create a video and make it private so no one can see it. Only if they get the link or Vimeo or some other platforms. Just make the videos private so no one can um, watch them. And yeah, so you can put
put in here the link of your private video i just took for the example a random video from youtube so i put in the youtube link here you can put in some section name for example um, I don't know, tags then basics maybe some style oops style so this is how you create sections and now you have here the sections and some lessons of course um i wouldn't use here the video i don't know why i did it here you have to put in of course your description of your course so, and here you have to create a new lesson and in the lesson you say uh, first tag second tag and so on so now you have your tags and we can click on edit item and now here you have to put in the permalink so here you put in right here then lesson duration you can put it here or leave it with zero allow comments disable it please i wouldn't and preview lesson let's click it okay and now let's publish it and here of course you could also useful description and introduction video for example hello in this course you will learn whatever and for the second one let's move, make it the same so click here on edit item then put in here your video lesson and then just allow comments disable it and now um, this one shouldn't be um, preview yes okay so now let's update it this one also update and yeah here let's put in just basics and and style but it's very simple just upload your videos on udemy or youtube or uh, udemy yeah just uh, youtube vimeo or i think there are a lot of platforms where you can um, upload your videos for free and then just put in the url link here of course don't forget to make the videos private so in youtube you can make private videos which people can't see or search for and then you can just post them here like edit item and then put your private videos which you uploaded here all right